all right now let's uh, let me just show you that file demo as well like so in this particular case what i'm just going to do here is i'll just you know come to that uh, previous window here and uh, there is a section for to uploading the files as well like so if you just come here into this create section so what you can do here is like you can upload the files from here as well and uh, in here like uh, you can also do this this knowledge files itself so the knowledge files is basically is something which it is going to first look at right so this is what we are just going to say that right although this is a web explorer version but let me demonstrate one of the uh, reasoning which i would like to demonstrate over here right so what i'll do here is uh, i'll definitely come to that particular place and uh, you see this uh, these are few of the uh, data which i would like to you know upload over here right so for that i'll just come to this particular you know a section over here and i'll just upload this one right so let me just come here and uh, and i'll just select these right so what i've done is i've selected these three files and these are three json files and i'll show you like what are exactly this and uh, you know this is uploading the files over here because this is what my this is my knowledge database which i wanted to upload here you can upload anything let's say you can upload any cv you can upload any kind of pdf or whatsoever the data which you like to you know first chat gp to analyze and uh, think about that particular data in this particular repository which wherein you are uploading and then it should go outside to the world when i say outside to the world basically to, to internet and surf along there right so these three files are uploaded now what i like to say here right so this is my knowledge bank itself and uh, and let's uh, do one more thing here right so i'll just come to my code here right so this is uh, another my uh, one of my another course wherein i have actually created dotnet you know full stack application using dotnet angular and chat gpt like uh, you like to know like how to use ai to you know code entire your application then you can definitely check this particular course as well this is already part of the platform so you just need to uh, search either for my name or you can just search for this particular course itself and you can find that one right so this is the full stack application using dotnet core angular and chat gpt by the way i look for this particular this is the products json and uh, this is the brands json right and this is the types json right so i like to know about this particular uh, product and let's say and this is having some uh, the name is uh, with this by the other way let's go ahead and check out that like what is the description for that one and if i just go here and uh, let's try in this particular preview itself can you let me know about you know this product and let's see what it gives here and this is a starting working i'm searching my knowledge and you see that searching my knowledge means here it's started searching because i have uploaded into this knowledge itself and looks like so you see that uh, this is what it is given that adidas are designed for both professional and amateur key features like this and this is the price which i have mentioned like in the different price points one with variant 3500 3, and 3375 rupees which you can see uh here right 3375 and 3500 so this is the thing which it is doing right so this is what we call as your own data repository searching in your own data repository so now in the next video uh, what we are going to do is we are going to extend this particular and we'll see like um, that exact uh, thing which we wanted to ask as part of the demo so let's that particular demo let's do that into the next video itself